And a visual inspection must be carried out on a daily basis to make sure that the overall condition is acceptable for the trailer or the rigid body. And we do that by inspecting the front headboard to start off with, make sure that your air lines are connected properly, your hydraulic lines are connected, that if they are quick release, that they are connected correctly. Your trailer plug, your Suzy call. Sometimes after a storm, you can get water ingress into your Suzy call, which will affect the powering up of the brains at the trailer. So make sure that that's connected. There is a, a fuse box behind here. Uh, and it's in the manual here to show you what the fuses are. If you do have a failure of a fuse, stand up on top of here and have a look inside here and check which fuse has failed. So we go through the operation and then we walk around and make sure there's nothing visually damaged on the trailer, landing legs, tyres, wheels, mud guards, until we get down to the back of the trailer. Okay, you need to get under the back of the asphalt tongue here and there's a plastic scraper here which is designed to scrape any product build up on the belt as it runs around. This plastic scraper is a hard engineering plastic and it doesn't bounce back if it does bend. So if you leave asphalt to go hard on the belt, and again, you're not supposed to, but if it happens, the asphalt will hit the plastic and bend it backwards and the plastic won't bounce back. And the symptom will be you will get asphalt all over your chassis on future loads. So your daily check, make sure that that plastic is straight and where it's supposed to be. It will wear away, it's designed to wear on the, on the rubber belt and it's spring loaded so it will continually raise as it wears away. You'll get a few years of use out of that plastic before you have to replace it but the daily check is to make sure that it's in its spot and it's not bent.